Hello guys, welcome back to Medicores. So today we will be discussing about the knee PG surgery 2024 PYQs. Quickly moving on to the first question, it's an image based question and the investigation was to be identified from the image. So it is barium swallow and also in the history provided in the question there was mention of alkali ingestion by the person so uh, in this case barium swallow is the most appropriate one and uh, the main focus here was the image based question next one a 46 year old male presented to opd with chronic abdominal pain x-ray abdomen was performed what is the diagnosis so here you can see pancreatic calcifications in the x-ray image and this is a case of chronic pancreatitis Next one, a female presented with 1 into 11 into 1 centimeter thyroid swelling. And what is the next best step in the management? It is not 1 into 11. It is 1 into 1 into 1 centimeter thyroid swelling. What is the next best step in the management? So here the management uh, best step now to be done is TSH and T4 level. So initial evaluation of thyroid nodule requires TSH and T4 and iodine 131 is therapeutic but it is not a diagnostic option. Next one, identify the procedure done in a patient with recurrent GRD. Answer is Nissen's fund duplication which uh, is uh, creating a 360 degree wrap to reinforce the lower esophageal sphincter and this is the most preferred one. Next one, what is the management of a patient presenting with constant chest pain and following radiological uh, imaging is also provided. So this is a case of aortic dissection and uh, management is beta blocker plus vasodilator initially. Next one, a patient presented with recurrent diarrhea, abdominal pain and foul smelling stools and colonoscopy image is also given. What is the diagnosis? So this is a case of pseudomembranous colitis. There is, is again an image based question. The exact image had come in the knee PG, uh, pseudomembranous colitis. Next question, what type of ulcer is this? So this is um, a venous ulcer. It is usually associated with varicose veins and occur due to chronic venous insufficiency. Next question, how does the graft get nutrition on day 3? So on day 3, the graft will be getting nutrition by imbibition itself. First 3 days is by imbibition and after that, the next 3 days, graft relies on inosculation. And later on, neovascularization, that is angiogenesis happens. Next, a patient with a head injury after a fall showed a radiological finding. What is the diagnosis? So this is an image of a subdural hemorrhage. You need to identify subdural hemorrhage. Another important feature of subdural hemorrhage is the thunderclap headache. And um, it is usually common after trauma, especially in the older adults because of the bridging vein rupture. Next, how to take a biopsy in the following uh, from the following image uh, lesion. So answer is superficial from the border with the including the normal tissues. So border biopsy ensures sampling of both the disease and the normal tissue, which is important for diagnosing malignancies. Next, an intraoperative image of a congenital hernia repair structure is marked and what uh, identify the structure was given. So this was a little confusing question even on uh, need PG um, exam paper the image provided was little confusing so mostly the uh, they were trying to point out the inferior epigastric vein so inferior epigastric artery and vessel are marked in this please um, uh, learn the landmarks uh, related to inguinal hernia and uh, because inferior epigastric vessels uh, medial and lateral uh, depend uh, is used to identify the types of hernia and all so please go through hernia and um, about the boundaries of the superficial inguinal ring deep uh, deep ring and all of those please go through that next a uh, child with radiological imaging presented to opd and what will be the image uh, management so here you can see that there is a keyhole appearance and that is seen in posterior urethral valve so the management here is endoscopic ablation next a child presented with a congenital defect and when will the first repair be done so first cleft palate repair first is done at six months next identify the procedure so here uh, i have uh, this image uh, was given and uh it was of a Chopard's uh, incision. In this image, uh, also a Les Frank uh, incision is being shown. But that is also an important, a potential uh, question for need PG. So learn all the um, uh, amputation in amputations, types of amputations. Next, a Jeep driver presented with gluteal pain and the swelling and the image is also given. So what is the diagnosis? Answer is a pyloneidal sinus. Next, liver metastasis is seen in a breast cancer patient. What is the management? Answer is neoadjuvant chemo followed by surgery. And, and uh, in stage 4 breast cancer, there is a requirement for systemic therapy that is chemotherapy. What is used to cover a large post burn wound? So answer is split thickness. Skin graft is used uh, for large burn areas.
Next, irreducible umbilical mass is given and what is the management? So, management is umbilical excision with mesh hernioplasty. A four-week-old four uh, child comes with vomiting and what is the diagnosis? So, uh, mostly a child with four-week and coming with uh, vomiting, it mostly points towards congenital pyloric stenosis and projectile vomiting is the one seen here and uh, palpable olive-shaped mass uh, in the abdomen is also a feature of congenital pyloric stenosis. Next, what is instrument is used to insert a catheter that is the stoureterescope uh, it is uh, useful in inserting the catheter next indication for adjuvant radiotherapy in oral malignancy is extranodal in extension because extranodal extension indicates the aggressive disease and the higher recurrence risk and it warrants a radiotherapy Next, an endoscopic image is given and uh, this is the image of Barrett's esophagus. So, you can see the columnar metaplasia which uh, leads to the Barrett's esophagus which is a complication of chronic GERD. And uh, image-based questions are like a favorite in surgery. Surgery, most of the questions are image-based. So, you need to have an idea about the radiological image and the gross imaging as well. And uh, most of the questions are quite simple but you need to have, uh, you need to at least have uh once or twice a look at these images then only you can be you will be able to identify them in the exam next ideal pressure for pressure dressing is 60 to 80 mmhg next breast mass hp is given and uh, what is the diagnosis so here you can see that there is leaf like stromal proliferation seen on the histopathology image and that points towards phyllodes tumor Management of urethral valve is by urethroplasty because it is definitive for complex structures, structures or valves. Next, scrotal pain post trauma is there, and uh, what is the diagnosis? So here you can see that there is a blue dot sign seen uh, in the image, and that points towards torsion of the testicular appendages. Next, uh, trefoil factor is a tumor marker four. Uh, it is a tumor marker for adenocarcinoma. Next, identify the disease, and the image is also provided. The CT image is provided and from this you can identify that this is a polycystic kidney disease next post gastrectomy which vitamin replacement is needed so post gastrectomy vitamin b12 replacement is needed next young patient with colicky pain and rbc in urine what is the diagnosis so answer is oxalate stone and calcium oxalate stones are the most common type presenting with hematuria and colicky pain stage of bone involvement in testicular carcinoma is uh, so bone metastasis is seen in stage 4 testicular carcinoma next poor differentiation and high mitotic activity correlate with which grade of tumor it correlates with grade 3 of tumor which is high grade tumor and next question myasthenia gravis is associated with so it is usually associated with thymoma uh, seen in 15 percentage of myasthenia gravis cases so that's it guys for uh, need pg 2024 surgery questions and i hope um, you i was able to convey uh, the questions and the answers uh, in a simplified form this is just for the recap on the previous day and uh, i have come up with my volume 2 as well uh, including all of the subjects which i have mentioned and um, it's uh, out and you can purchase it uh, at a nominal price of 200 rupees and uh, the same uh, video but the pdf will be provided so that it will be easier for you to uh, have a last minute revision just before the exam and uh, if you uh, are not comfortable with pdf then uh, the same thing is available in the youtube channel for free you can watch the videos but since it is a little time consuming i'm providing you with the pdf as well so that's it guys uh, till i come back with my new video stay tuned till then bye bye